Hey guys, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will create a JavaScript function to count the number of vowels in a given string. So we have vowels a i o u, and as an input string, we might have Python. So as you can see, we have one vowel here, o. So it should return one. Same as PHP, we don't have any vowel, so output will be zero. For my name, Milab, it will be two because a and i, and so for this string. So sometimes, uh, as a fresher or in the online interview, you might get asked to create such a JavaScript function, and it is very simple, but it is interesting as well. So let's start creating the function. Okay, before we start the creating that function, I will show you. The regular expression which we will be gonna use for this function, and in JavaScript we have one very good website that regex101.com. Here there are few languages that you can create regular expression for. For example, in this uh, particular case we are using JavaScript, so we will use JavaScript as a language. Also, there is an option to generate the code. I will show you. So here, you can enter the testing string. Okay, for example, Mila. Here, we can write down our string like uh, not string. We can use a regular expression. Okay. So uh, first of all, we will use uh, a bracket, square bracket. Okay. Here. We will uh, write down a e i o u. Okay, so as you can see here, there are two matches a and i. Okay, let me change it to capital A. It is not matching capital A because here in regular expression we need to change it to insensitive. Yeah. Now it is also calculating, also matching the capital A. a. Okay, so what are these regular expression options? First is global. So uh, what does it mean when regular expressions start to uh, check the match matching the characters? If G is not there, it will stop looking for the string. It it will not. Uh, it will simply return from here. Okay. The second uh, argument is multi-line. So here I can also uh, let me show you. Here, if I give another line, if I try to give, it will also match. And if I remove here multi line, it will not match all. I mean, uh, all the characters from the string. Okay, so this is also a very good option. So here, let me remove. We don't have multi line here, so uh, we can start writing our regular expression. Okay, so for that. We can create a JavaScript function. For example, count vowels is equal to function ES6 function definition. The argument we can pass as a string. Okay, and let's log our output. Count dot vowels. We can pass as an argument. Okay. So first of all, we will return string. Dot replace. Okay. Why we are using replace? I will show you in a while. Here we need to pass a regular expression slash in bracket and slash g m i global multi line and insensitive in case sensitive. Okay. Here we need to pass a e i o u. Okay. And dot length. Okay. Why dot length? Here, what we are doing? We are matching this a e i o u from the string and passing a caret that is negative. Okay. So what this string regular expression will do? It will find a e i o u from this string and it will return all the strings which are not a e i o u. 
So in this case, it will return M, L and P. This replace function will replace M, L and P with empty, empty string. So when you replace M, L and P with empty string, it will remain with I and A and the length of the I and A will be 2. Okay. So let's see. Let's test that. Yep. You can see we have 2. The length of A, E, I, O, U vowels from this string is 2. Let me remove I and make this I capital is returning 1 that is a right and if we want to consider i as well we can give i as an option right now it is returning 2 okay so we can also test other values as well let's test with php and it will return 0 right? there is no vowels in php let's try to give another value like python it should return one only o okay and let's give youtube.com it, it is returning five because o u u b o five vowels are there right so this is a very um, good example of JavaScript regular expression that you can use to count the number of vowels in a given string. All right. If you are new to my channel, please have a look on my channel. There are many videos on JavaScript as well as CSS, HTML, Node.js and WordPress. And uh, let's start giving one question. It's time for quick question. So there is one function in JavaScript type of that is uh, that that is using to find the type of particular variable okay so here is my question okay so let's start with first example type of null what it it will return this is a question for you guys okay you can answer your comments uh, you can answer in your uh, in the comments below okay the second question is type of array let's say 1 comma 2 comma 3 and what will be the output type of some variable what will be output of this okay this is not defined anywhere yet in this particular file okay and the last question is type of undefined what will be the output of this so these are four questions you need to answer in the comment section please make sure you are not uh, using google or you are not checking in the google console just try uh, just give a try and let's see if you are able to uh, give the answer all right that's all for uh, this video guys please subscribe and support for my channel thank you